Porter Weston getting the start tonight, yep, uh, this afternoon. Porter Weston, a senior number 12. Our broadcast this afternoon is uh, brought to you in part by Gary Tusher, CPA for all your accounting needs. Call 208-847-2601. That's 208-847-2601. Also by T7 Propane in Woodruff for all your propane needs, 435-793-4208. By Ned and Tammy Calder in uh, Rich County by Rich County Rebels with a Championship Cause. Also by the Town of Woodruff, Mayor Scott Sabe, Council Members Millie Bradshaw, Raymond Franson, Kent Stewart, and Jason Peterson with Secretary Lisa Bell. And the Rebel broadcaster, this broadcast of Rebels and uh, Wayne Badgers basketball is also presented by Independent Software Solutions. For all your business computer needs, visit www.iss-providers.com. That's Independent Software Solutions. Rebels, the designated home team, as I mentioned, they're in the home whites, Wayne Badgers, and the road purples, white number, and uh, some gold on those uniforms as well. Rich will be attacking left to right in this first half on mylocalradio.com and live.ksl.com. Jarman wins the tip over Peterson, and Rich has it to start. Rebels has played last night the final game of the night and lost uh, upset by Paiute, 57-54. Rich looks down inside for Jarman. Ball poked away. Rebels turn it over. And up ahead to Van Orden, the Badgers turn it over. Turnovers were an issue last night for Rich. I think 12 or 13 of them just in the first half in that loss against Paiute. Down in the left corner, Weston drives, dishes across the lane. Smith down inside. He'll lob it back outside. Calder for three from the left wing. No, air ball short. Weston fights for it and lunges out. Can't quite save that ball from going out of bounds. And it's Wayne Badger basketball. Inbound against the full court pressure from the Rebels. Chapel just about has it taken away, away from behind by Cook. Van Orden back to Chapel. Garrett dribbles to his right, drives in, back outside, right corner three. Van Orden air balls it. Chapel's there for the rebound. His shot blocked away by Smith. And Wayne will inbound from the baseline. No score. First quarter action on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. 721 left in the first. Chapel. Receives the inbound. Rebels in a 2-3 zone defense. Across the top. Skip pass. Nice fake. Drive. Shot blocked by Jarman. And he also got him with the body. As Colby Taylor will go to the free throw line and shoot two. Nick averages four and a half blocks per game. But picks up his first foul. On that shot attempt from Colby Taylor. Taylor's first free throw, back of the iron, no good. Second free throw coming. Taylor had 11 points last night. Averages 12 and a half per game, 3.7 rebounds for the Badgers this season. Second free throw rattles and pops out. Porter Weston, the Rebel rebound. And he'll give it to Aaron Smith. Top of the key, left wing, Cook for three. And Jordan Cook knocks it down from the left wing. Rich on top, three to nothing on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Back the other way, a turnover for Wayne. A second turnover of the game for the Badgers. Cook, right wing. Aaron thinks about a long three. Passes instead to Cook at the top of the key. Three-point shot off the left side. And Colby Taylor with the rebound for Wayne. He'll keep it himself up across the timeline to Chapel. Garrett finds a lane, drives in, shoots, and just gets it over. Jarman misses, though, and the rebound. Peyton Peterson, what a hustle to try and get to that. Couldn't control it, and it goes to Rich. Rebel basketball. Rebels this season, ranked number one through a lot of the year. They even beat uh, Paiute at the 1A preview back in December. But Paiute came out, played a great game last night. Both Sylvester, fantastic. And a great team effort to knock off the number one ranked Rich Rebels. Porter Weston right corner, back to Cook. He'll take the long right wing three. That one's too long. Rebound Garrett Chapel of Wayne. He'll turn and go. Pushes the tempo. Rebels slow him down. Into the corner. Three for Tyler Chapel. That one back of the iron out to Aaron Smith. And Rich pushes the other direction. Take it out to the right wing. Slow it down. Lob it inside. He faked the shot. Gives to Weston. Porter misses short. And the rebound to Kobe Taylor of Wayne. Some early missed shots for both teams. I think would normally be shots that would go in. Chapel tries to take on Jarman and Nick swats that one out for the block. His first of the game. Rebels lead 3-0 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. A three by Jordan Cook. 
Tonight's, uh, this afternoon's game, rather, is brought to you in part by Pro Physical Therapy and Dr. Dallas Clark, physical therapist. Rebels get a takeaway, Calder to Smith, goes strong, hangs in the air, gets it to go to finish in the foul. And Aaron Smith with a chance for the three-point play. The foul, I believe, on Wyatt Van Orden contesting the shot. We'll see if the scoreboard confirms that as Aaron Smith goes to the free throw line to shoot one. Aaron, a 68% free throw shooter this season, gets that one to rim around and drop down through. And it was on Van Orden. Rebels pressing and Wayne draws the foul. Some contact from Jordan Cook. He ends up on the floor, but it's a blocking foul against the Rebels. Rich with the lead, 6-0 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard, 547. Left in the first quarter, nice move by Colby Taylor. He'll dribble down inside, give it off to Chapel. Trapped down there in the boot, but he finds Peyton Peterson at the free throw line. He'll go in and swat, gets a shot swatted away by Nick Jarman, Nick's second block of the game. Tyler Chapel's shot attempt, blocked out of bounds. Inbound, Garrett Chapel shoots it up. What's that? Cook up to the right wing. After a missed shot and Rebel rebound. Cook, left wing, Weston looking inside, nothing there. Wayne saw it by the 2-3 zone. Defense worked real well against Rich last night, so Wayne comes out in the 2-3. Aaron Smith, left wing. Stepped up and wanted to shoot the three, but the defense was right out on him on Tyler, with Tyler Chapel there. Rebels work it inside. Porter Weston up with the left hand. His shot is blocked. Jarman may have gotten away with a foul. Rebels come up with it. Smith behind the back dish. And the finish for Porter Weston, Aaron Smith with the assist, and Rich is leading 8-10, to 10, or excuse me, 8 to nothing on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. A, a Rebel steal, third turnover of the game for Wayne. Weston goes up, misses the shot after he hung or hesitated to let the defense go by. Rich has an offensive rebound to Calder in the corner, misses the three. Van Orden with the Wayne rebound. Down inside, Chapel passes across, left wing, Colby Taylor drives. Nice use of the footwork, and... Gets Jarman off his feet with the ball fake, then steps past him and puts it in. Colby Taylor with the bucket. Well, that was excellent footwork by Taylor. He had to shoot uh, with his right hand off his right foot, but boy, it worked. Eight to two, Rebels on top on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Weston on the right wing. Well, round the arc, Calder in the left corner. Cook fires back inside, looking for Jarman. Kicks it back outside, Calder fakes the three, then drives, hangs in the air and puts it up off the window. On the left side, Cameron Calder, and the Rebels lead 10-2. Trying to force another turnover, they get it. Cook to the hoop, and he's fouled by Colby Taylor. Badgers with four or five turnovers early on here. And Rich with some free throws coming. Jordan Cook at the line. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take one, too. You're tuned in to Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. Bryce Canyon Half Marathon. 13.1 miles of fast and unforgettable running on scenic Byway 12. From Bryce Canyon City descending to Cannonville through the majestic Bryce Canyon National Park. Race runs on the second Saturday in July. Start training today. Bullhead Sand and Gravel has been providing you with all your gravel needs since 2005. We have decorative rock, sewer rock, three-quarter rock, road base, riprap, reject sand, and pit run. We will deliver you as much or as little as you need. We also build beautiful retaining walls. They really appreciate every customer at Cash Honda Yamaha in Cash Valley. They understand that you have lots of options when it comes to purchasing outdoor recreation vehicles. That's why they work hard to earn your business by making sure they understand exactly what you want. They're friends with their customers. When you're happy, they're happy. If you haven't been to their store, they invite you to come visit. And if you've already one of their friends, stop in again soon and check out all of this season's gear. Cash Honda Yamaha, in between Logan and Smithfield on US 91. Welcome back to 1A Basketball presented by Bear Lake Realty. Visit BearLakeRealty.com. Monument Valley's girls, 53, Tabiona 49. The Coors are moving on to the semifinals. They'll face Milford. Tabby uh, drops into consolation play on the girls' bracket. Jordan Cook at the line, hits the first of two free throws. Jordan has four points in the game. The Rebels lead 11-2 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Cook, second free throw, swishes through as well. 12 to two, 
Rich on top by 10 early on and is continuing to press. They just about yield another turnover, but the ball ping-pongs around back into the hands of Garrett Chapel. He'll drive, kick it back outside. Van Orden for three. Swishes through Wyatt Van Orden. 12 to 5. Rebel lead is cut to 7. 335 left in the first quarter. Cook on the right wing. Fires to Clark in the corner. Clark, Jarman, Smith, Cook, and Anderson on the floor. And a travel is a Rebel second turnover of the game. Van Orden, Chapel, Chapel, Peterson, and Colby Taylor on the floor for the Wayne Badgers. Region 19's number two team. They score a lot of points, sixth in the state, 64 points per game in 1A, and allowed 56 points per night. They work it around, left wing, Taylor. Rebels stay in the 2-3 zone defense. It's worked so well, it's worked well so far. Taylor drives, shoots, gets it past Jarman, but misses pretty badly. Smith with the Rebel rebound. He'll fire up ahead to Cook. Jordan lobs underneath. Clark goes up, catches it, and then goes right back up and hits the layup on the right side. Cook knows well the leaping ability of Kenan Clark. Clark deflects a pass. Rebels take it. Smith underneath Cook or to Clark. Back to Cook in the lane. Fakes the shot. Up with the left hand. Got it. Kenan or uh, Jordan Cook with the layup. And it's 16 to 5. Rebels up by 11. The other end. A drive down and pass across the lane by Tyler Chapel. They kick it back outside. Van Orden mishandles the pass. Gets it back. Pulls up on the baseline and drills it. Wyatt Van Orden, that sweet touch. He didn't get many shots, opportunities last night. Was held to, I think, just three points in that loss against Valley. 16 to seven. Wayne down by nine. Jarman, right wing. Cook takes the three. Nope, just a bit short. Bounces over the top and a foul on the rebound. Jarman trying to get to it. Nick averages 14 rebounds a game. He's got one so far in this game and he puts his hands out to his side in frustration as he's called for his second foul and heads to the bench. Casey Treneri checks in. And Porter Weston back into the game. Drop a little bit in height. Jarman 6'6", Porter Weston 6'1". But with Weston and Clark out there, still good height. Clark listed at 6'2". Garrett Chapel hesitates, then drives. Dishes back outside. Van Orden on the right wing. Work it around. Taylor, top of the key. Gives it to Peterson. Traven kicks it right corner. Garrett Chapel for three. Short rebound. Cason Treneri, who just checked in for Rich. Up court. Cook. Picks up the dribble on the left wing. Up top to Trenary. Rich on top, 16-7 to in the first quarter. The Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. And today's broadcast is brought to you in part by J-Bar Auto in Randolph, Utah. High-quality service at a fair price. Rebels pass it away, and then Taylor saves it. Nice move. A quick heads-up takeaway by Colby Taylor. The Badgers force the Rebel turnover, third of the game. Chapel drives, and Weston draws the charge for Rich. Porter, I think, leads the Rebel team in dra charges drawn this season. And that's a big one right there. The foul is on Garrett Chapel, his first, I believe. No, it is for his first. Wayne's third team foul. Rebels with three team fouls as well. Cook across the timeline. Minute 15 left to go first quarter. Ternary out on the right wing. Dribbles around to his left. Screen, pick and roll for Cook. Go for Clark, and he tips it, but couldn't pull it in. Again, quick thought, uh, quick thinking by Tommy Reese to pull his hands down, avoid any contact with the ball, and let it sail out of bounds. Full court pressure. Trenary deflects it, and then Clark deflects it out of bounds. Boy, if the Rebels had hustled like this last night, I think it would have been a different game, especially in that first half, which played pretty flat against in that loss to Paiute. Van Orden splits the defense. Rebels chasing. Wyatt bounces across the lane. Garrett Chapel. He gives a ball fake ball, and then uh, Cook goes flying by. Chapel misses the shot from the right side, and Porter West in a Rebel rebound. Under a minute to go in the first. Rich on top by nine, 16 to seven. Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Cook to Weston on the right wing. Dribbles once, pulls up for the long two, and misses off the front of the iron. High sky for the rebound. Tommy Reese of Wayne up ahead to Van Orden. Down the right sideline, back up top, Reese fakes left, goes right, drives in, dishes off, pretty pass, Traven Peterson with the finish. That was uh, some quick movement from Tommy Reese. Rebels couldn't keep up with that quickness. The drive and the dish, Cook dribbles left, guarded by Van Orden. Cook picks up the dribble, back outside to Anderson. Big crowd here today for this consolation game. A lot of Rebel and Badger fans. 
Down here in front of us, Cook dribbles, it's poked away. Jordan gets it back, no, Garrett Chapel dives to the floor, tips it over to Van Orden, he goes the other direction and lays it up and in just before the buzzer. Wyatt Van Orden, after the Badgers forced a fourth turnover, finishes just to beat the buzzer. 16-11, Badgers down by five on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard at the end of the first quarter. We'll take a quick break and be right back with second quarter action on Utah 1A Basketball and KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. At Cash Valley Bank, you get all the options and services without all the hassle. Personal and business banking services. From the professional staff of Cash Valley Bank, go Badgers! Comfort Inn in Richfield offers guests cozy accommodations and friendly service. Amenities include free Wi-Fi, free hot breakfast, indoor pool and hot tub. If you're looking for a getaway, or if you're here at the Comfort Inn for work, we've got you covered. Call Double T Construction for all your building needs, residential, commercial, remodels, and concrete. Give Tyler a call, 435-691-2047. Good luck, Badger Basketball. Back at Richfield High School in consolation play. The Rebels 3-for-3 three three from the free throw line in that first quarter. Wayne 0 for 2, but they kept pace with, with Rich, 11 points, including a buzzer-beating layup by Wyatt Van Orden who had seven points in that first quarter. Second quarter action begins with Wayne having the basketball. Up to the left side, Reese across the top, right wing to Van Orden, ball poked away, Calder comes up with it, he tries to pass and Van Orden deflects it away out of bounds, Rebel basketball. Wayne had four turnovers in the first quarter, Rich with four as well. These teams, uh, it's hard to know how they'll come out. They're both with high expectations. I think especially the Rich Rebels. Wayne, high hopes. They lose on the first day, so you drop in the consolation bracket. Play, and do you come out fired up and wanting to finish out the weekend with three more wins? Or are you done? You cash it in and just want to go home. Both teams right now playing like they want to keep going. To the floor, Reese passes over his head. Porter Weston comes up with it. Gives it back to Smith. Pass right corner. Rich goes inside looking for Jarman. It's poked away. Each time the Rebels are trying to go in there, it's been taken away. Rebels get a takeaway, though. Smith down to the right side. Hangs in the air. Misses the layup, but he's fouled. And Rebels are forcing a lot of turnovers on outlet passes. Garrett Chappell puts his arms in the air. He's feeling frustrated. May have felt like he was fouled. Aaron Smith at the line, shooting two. Fouled by Garrett Chappell. Smith's free throw rims around and out. Aaron had three points, an assist, a block, two rebounds in the first quarter. And we'll have a second free throw coming up. Our game broadcast today is brought to you in part by Pugstone Sporting Goods. Winter, summer, spring, or fall. Pugstones has it all. Your Bell Lake All Sporting Goods shop at the four way stop in Garden City. Smith hits the second free throw, 17 11. Rich up by six. They've led by as much as 11. Badgers have battled back. Taylor on the right wing. Trenary poked it away. Smith dove into the bleachers trying to save it. Luckily didn't uh, knock his head there on the sideline. May have bumped into one of his uh, classmates, cheerleaders there in the Rebel student section, right where he dove. Plenty, of, uh, plenty more action going on today here at the Richfield High School and the Sevier Valley Center. Next game will be Tinnick versus Penguich back at the Sevier Valley Center. That's a big one coming up in the championship quarterfinal bracket. Down inside, Taylor has it stripped away. He gets it right back. Chapel right wing three, almost goes in off the window. Trenary chasing down the wrong rebound. He sprints up ahead all the way to the hoop, lays it up and in. Case and Trenary, the quickness and the drive. Chapel right side, he'll put it up over Jarman. It hangs on the front of the rim, but doesn't go down. Calder the rebound. And he spun around as Peyton Peterson wraps him up. A little bit of chippiness going on with that jump ball. Today's broadcast is also brought to you in part by Comprehensive Family Dental. Dr. Sean Grohl providing quality family dentistry since 1998. Dr. Grohl has offices in Hiram, Utah and Randolph, Utah for your convenience. Rebels up by eight. Smith to Trenary on the left wing. Skip pass back to Smith on the right wing, looks back door, finds Jarman, he'll kick it back outside Calder, fakes right, goes left, floats it from the right baseline and hits it. 
Cameron Calder with a nice touch. 21-11, Rich on a 5-0 run, leads by 10 again. Chapel up the left sideline to the free throw line, hesitates, then drives, misses, trying to get it over Jarman, too high off the window. Smith up ahead, Calder is wide open, but Smith led him a bit too far. And Cameron couldn't quite catch up to that. And the Rebels turn it over for a sixth time in the game. Aaron this season leading, uh, on the, leading the team with three and a half, almost four assists per game. Jordan Cook right behind him at 3.0 assists. Reese across the arc. Chapel long pass to Van Orden. He's on the, on the sideline and just saves it. Chapel and Jarman tied up for a jump ball. Good hustle from both those guys. Wayne takes the timeout. And I think we'll keep it right here on Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. Today's broadcast is also brought to you in part by the town of Randolph, home of the Rich Rebels. Good luck from Mayor Lynn Weston, board member Simbo, Brian Wires, Larry Kennedy, Melanie Lim, and Clerk Lana Peart. And also by Epic Recreation. Make your vacation an epic one to remember. Next time you visit beautiful Bear Lake, check out EpicRecreation.net for all your rentals at Bear Lake. Epic Recreation. And by Bear Lake Memorial Hospital, count on us to care. That's Bear Lake Memorial Hospital in Montpelier, Idaho. For your next construction project, count on the best. Visit EllingfordBros.com. They've got concrete, sand and gravel, welding and fabrication, custom truck accessories, and much more. That's EllingfordBros.com. Rich jumped out to an 8-0 lead in this first, in the first quarter. Wayne battled back. They had a, a nice finish to the quarter. Scored six straight points and. Climb to within five, but the Rebels are on a 5-0 run to start this second quarter. Badgers with it, inbound to Peterson, goes to his left. He tries to go up against German and Clark, can't get the shot to go. He did get the shot over them, but missed it just short. And Jordan Cook with the Rebel rebound. Smith up to the baseline, kicks it across to Calder. Cameron drives, floats it up, hits it, and he's fouled. Badgers don't like the foul, Rebel fans Love it. And Cameron with a chance for the three-point play. Calder was held to just six points last night against Paiute. That was on a 7-0 run. And Cameron Calder at the free throw line. One of the top shooting free throw shooters on the team, right around 77%. And he hits the three or the free throw to make it a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Calder with five, seven points. Rich continues the full court pressure. Tyler Chapel dribbles away from traffic. May have been bumped, and Cameron Calder may have gone away with a foul. Garrett Chapel behind the back pass to Wyatt Van Orden. Pretty pass from Garrett. And Wayne ends that scoring drought. The Rebels had been on an 8-0 run. And Rich leads by 11, 24-13 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Smith, top of the key, picks it up and gives to Cook on the left wing. Welcome you tuned in on MyLocalRadio.com, on Live.KSL.com, and if you're listening on the radio, the KDQ FM 98.3, Southwest Wyoming, Northeast Utah area. Jarman, Cook, Calder, or Clark rather, on the left elbow, back inside Jarman. Nick reverses it. His arm is held. He can't even get the shot off, and he throws it away. Rebels turn it over. Badgers with it. Chapel up ahead, overthrows Tyler Chapel, and the Badgers throw it away. And that's been an issue for Jarman all season long. There's been a lot of times you see his arms held down as he shoots, as he tries to shoot. He's still frustrated. Arms out to his side. Now he throws them out in frustration. Doesn't feel like he gets a lot of the calls that he thinks he should. 24-13, Rebels on top on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Smith to the top of the key. Follows the screen by Jarman. Aaron dribbles right, then to Clark. He'll try to pass inside, and Van Orden rejects that. Clark back, uh, gets it back at the timeline. Almost had a play set up to go inside to Jarman. Nick averages 13.3 a game. Hasn't scored yet in this one. Actually, yeah, has not scored. Clark to Calder. Bounces inside. Nick turns. Fires left wing. Smith fakes the three, then gives to Cook in the corner. Aaron starts to drive, and he's fouled on the floor. Or not Aaron, but Jordan. Cook and the foul on Tyler Chapel. Wayne's fifth team foul. Make it 16 foul as they update the scoreboard. Calder from the baseline to inbound. Looking, looking, and he'll go up high to Cook. Jordan, a couple of one dribble, and then to Calder on the right wing. Pressure coming out by Wayne. Calder dribbles it away. 
picked up, and Tyler Chapel goes to the other end. He's fouled by Jordan. Chapel ends up on the ground, and Cook has a quick word with the official. I think he may have thought there was a foul on the takeaway by Wayne. Tyler Chapel goes to the line to shoot two. Badgers 0 for 2 so far in the game from the free throw line. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Bear Lake Realty. Gary and Amber McKee in Garden City. Visit BearLakeRealty.com if you're looking for real estate in the Bear Lake area. And by the station in Randolph. Next time you head through Randolph on your way to Bear Lake or if you're up in the area for whatever other reason, stop in at the station in Randolph. They've got the coldest drinks in town. They're here for your convenience needs. Chapel's first free throw. Back of the iron. Misses. Second free throw coming up. Takes his time, eyes the target, and this one rattles and pops out. Jarman, the Rebel rebound, just his second of the day. He averages 14 of those per game. Cameron Calder drives in again, moving to his left, floats it up with the right hand and swishes it through. 26-13, Rebels have backed off on the full court pressure, but they pick up the ball at the timeline. Anderson guarding Van Orden, who goes down in the corner. Reese has it, uh, just saves it into Taylor, poked away by Jarman. Rebels push up ahead, Smith. Working up, scoops it across the lane to Calder, who shoots, hangs in the lane, missed the shot over the top. Taylor chases down the rebound in the corner, but it was out off of Rich. And the Badgers have the basketball. 26-13, Rich doubling up the Badgers here in the second quarter. 3.15 left on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. And Taylor dribbles across the timeline. Rebels trying to set up a half-court trap. It doesn't work. Good work by the Badgers to break it. Van Orden, left corner three, no, Jarman with the rebound. He'll quickly go up ahead to Cameron Calder who releases out in front, hesitates, a slow step, misses. Clark with the offensive board and his putback is good. Kenan Clark with four points in the game. And Rich pushes the lead out a little further, 28-13 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Another steal for Calder. Aaron Smith up on the left wing. Lobs inside, looking for Jarman, just threw it too far. Rich with nine turnovers in the game. Van Orden comes up with the loose ball, or with the steal. Up ahead, Van Orden looking for Chapel. Anderson deflects that pass away out of bounds. Our broadcast today is also brought to you in part by Bear Lake Physical Therapy, helping Rebels get back in the game since 1998. And by Mound Valley Cattle Company, Eddie and Todd Jensen out of Thatcher, Idaho. As well as Rich County 4-H, empowering young people with the skills to lead for a lifetime. Left corner, Badgers drive, Tommy Reese. Hop step, stops, and puts it up and in off the glass. Nice move by Reese. 28-15, Badgers within 13. 2.20 left to go in the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. And in the second quarter, Smith across the timeline. Left wing, Anderson around the top of the arc. Couple of screens. Reagan Huffner just checked in. Rich uh, lobs it down inside looking for Clark. Overthrown and gives it away again. Huffman tries to battle and get it back. Uh, does knock it away out of bounds, but the Badgers have the basketball with 2.05 remaining in the second. Reese inbounds to Taylor. Traven Peterson in there along with uh, Tyler Chapel and Peyton Peterson. Taylor, left side. Peyton, nice bounce pass inside to Traven. One extra pass to Colby Taylor. He gets Clark in the air, and Kinnon comes down on top of Colby for the foul. Rebel fifth team foul of the game. Kinnon's first personal. Make it, uh, oh yeah. Saw the 23 up there for a second, the two fouls, but scoreboard just hadn't quite updated yet. Inbound to Peyton Peterson across the lane, right side. He finishes and is fouled, and Peyton Peterson with a chance for the three-point play. Nice move across the lane. The foul against the Rebels is a sixth team foul. And it's charged to Cameron Calder, his first. Badger so far from the line, 0 for 4. And Peterson changes that. Hits the front of the rim and rolls up over the top. A three-point play for Peyton Peterson, the senior, who averages six points per game, has three so far in this one. The Badgers are within 10. Aaron Smith to the right wing. Anderson, top of the key to Huffner. He'll turn and attack the hoop, steps through. Great use of his footwork, but... Misses the shot, Anderson tips the rebound off the glass, gets it back down and is fouled on the attempted putback. That was fancy footwork by Reagan Huffner. And it looked like a travel, but wasn't. So Jared Anderson with two offensive rebounds on that position, has two free throws coming. Double so far in the game. Four of five, make it four of six from the line. 
Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Sabe Trucking. Scott and Diana Sabe wishing the Rebels good luck. And by Rolling Kennedy, Rich County's representative at Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet in Evanston, Wyoming. Anderson's first free throw rimmed around and out. Second swishes through. Rich on top by 11, 21, uh, 29, 18 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Colby Taylor attacks the hoop. Rebels thought they got a clean block, but the whistle comes. Taylor's at the line to shoot two. And it's Jared Anderson with his second personal foul. I mentioned a foul earlier. I said it was on Calder. It was actually on Anderson. And that's a seventh Rebel team foul. Colby Taylor, 0 for 2 at the line so far in the game. And he makes the first. Back the iron and down through. Our broadcast today is brought to you in part by the Randolph Country Store. We may be small, but we've got it all. Make sure to stop there at the Randolph Country Store in the south end of town if you're ever traveling through the Bear Lake uh, Rich County area. Chapel's second free throw, not Chapel, but Taylor's second free throw. Rattles, pops up, and down through the net. 29-20, Badgers within nine. Calder quickly inside. Huffner slicing to the basket, misses a bit short. Rebound tipped out, and Reese has it. Then he may have got away with a travel. It was deflected, the official says as he tried to pass, and the ball squirted loose. Tyler Chapel drives and floats it up on the right side and finishes. The Badgers on a big run here. They're within seven, Rich the other way. Calder goes up strong, looked like a clean block up top, but the whistle and a foul sends Cameron Calder to the free throw line. As he passes by Traven Peterson, some words were exchanged. Calder quickly reacts. He was just gonna walk right on by, but turned and fired some words back. Rebels uh, struggles in the last couple of minutes. A big part of that is turnovers. Six turnovers here in the third quarter, or in the second quarter, rather. Calder at the line, shooting two. Buries the first to the swish. Cameron has two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points in the game. 53.2 seconds to go in the first half. Colby Taylor is the guilty man on the foul. His second personal, Calder's second free throw, eases down through as well, and Rich leads by nine again, 31-22 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Calder with 11 points, and Coach Brown takes him out to get a breather and cool off a little bit. 53.2 seconds left in the first half. Reese to the top of the key, goes right side, Peyton Peterson. They work it around, nice passing. Traven Peterson bounces it at the foot of his teammate. Clark picks it up, goes ahead to Jordan Cook, who misses too strong off the glass. Rebound tipped back out, and Huffner pokes it away from Peterson. Reagan goes into the middle. Nobody's there, but Smith picks it up on the wing. Aaron drives in, puts up the shot, and an offensive foul. Aaron did throw that elbow out just a bit, and a nice charge foul drawn by the Wayne defense. Aaron's first personal foul, Rebel 18 foul. Well, that's an offensive foul. It does not result in one and one free throws. Wayne has the basketball. Inbound, Colby Taylor will let it bounce a few times, then pick up the dribble near midcourt. Rebels come out, 2-3 zone, extended. Peterson, top of the key. Badgers will play keep away for a bit. I think looking for the last shot. No, Colby Taylor winds up, misses the three, but an offensive rebound by Peyton Peterson, and his putback is in. 31-24, Badgers outplaying the Rebels for much of the second quarter. Anderson up ahead, looks inside, nothing there. Five, four, Aaron, right wing. Cook for three, up just before the buzzer. Misses, fight for the board, and into the hands of Garrett Chapel at the buzzer. And at the end of two quarters, Rich leads by seven, 31-24 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Rebels led by as much as, I think, 13, 15 points, 28-13, but the Badgers roar back in the second quarter. And it's a seven-point game at the half. We'll take a quick timeout. We've got the SUU halftime report coming up when we return on Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. When it comes to quality, Elling Ford Brothers in Evanston always delivers year-round. Whether you are looking for cement, gravel, road base, cement watering troughs, culverts, sand, steel fabrication services, steel products, accessories for your vehicles, trailer hitches, or snow removal for your company or organization, Elling Ford Brothers is the name to remember. Quality services and fair prices, three things you'll always find at Elling Ford Brothers. Call us today at 307-789-1515. Essential Mobile Technologies, your first responders to your electronics technology needs. From internet to cell phones to solar, we service it all. 
on the weekends. Our weeks never end. We'll be devoted to you all day. And we'll keep working for you all night until the job is done. Harward and Ree specializes in general building and engineering projects throughout Utah. Harward and Reese is a proud supporter of Wayne Badger Athletics and want to wish the Badgers success in the postseason. Go Badgers! Serving Wayne County and the surrounding area for over 20 years, Jackson Excavation specializes in septic systems, driveways, parking lots, and trenches. Give Kirk a call for any of your dirt work needs. 435-691-691. 8927. Welcome back to the halftime report brought to you by Southern Utah University. Visit suu.edu to experience more. Learn how you can become a T bird today. I can speak from personal experience. SUU is a great place to go to school. Small class sizes, great professors, great atmosphere, beautiful campus. So many positives about Southern Utah University. Experience more at suu.edu. Rebels on top of the Wayne Badgers, 31-24 at the half. Rebels shot 9 of 21 from inside the arc, just 1 of 7 from beyond the arc. Badgers the same, 1 of 7, and 9 of 20 from inside the arc. The difference so far, at least one of the big differences in this game, is free throws. The Rebels, boy, that is the difference, isn't it? Rich up by 7. Rebels hit 4 or 5 free throws more than the Badgers did. And Rich off the, uh, an extra offensive rebound over what the Badgers got. Uh, Rebels uh, leading scorer Nick Jarman has been held scoreless so far, but Cameron Calder already uh, four points more than his per game average. He has 11 in the ball game. Uh, Rich three or no eight of ten from the free throw line, 80 percent. Where the Badgers just three of seven. Wayne had a nice comeback or pushback in that second quarter. The Rebels were up by 15 midway through the second, and Wayne outscored Rich 11 to three the rest of that first or second quarter to climb to within seven. And again, it's at the half, Rich on top, 31-24 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Today's broadcast is also brought to you in part by the town of Lake Town. Good luck, Rebels, from the mayor and town council of Lake Town, Mayor Sim Weston, council members Dallas Clark, Chris Hodges, Gary Ogilvy, and Delora White. By Lazy S Ranching, encouraging you to eat more beef and cheer on the Rebels. That's Lazy S Ranching in Rich County. And by Stacy's Repair in Woodruff, the ones who truly care about you and your vehicle. 31-24 at the half. <clears throat> Some games earlier today on the girls' side of the bracket. Milford got by Paiute in a great game this morning, 54-53. And uh, Monument Valley beat Tabiona, another tight game, 53-49. That's in the girls' bracket. Boys' bracket uh, games just getting underway. Valley taking on Paiute, and it looks like Paiute leads 23-17. They're picking up where they left off with a great performance last night in the win over Rich, 57-54. And we'll see if they can keep that going uh, just before halftime. Paiute leads by six. Next game up over in the Sevier Valley Center is Tinnock versus Penguich. The next game here at Richfield High School is Water Canyon versus Pinnacle. We're at the half brought to you by Southern Utah University. Visit suu.edu to experience more. Quick break, and we'll be back with second half action on Utah 1A basketball on KSL and mylocalradio.com. Many of our customers have trusted Jensen Wood Motors for generations. It's important to all of us here at the dealership we always work for the people. My grandpa was a man of his word and he passed that tradition on to us. We understand that we're here to serve our customers and every day we try and do that to the best of our ability. We really appreciate each customer and we want to make sure that they feel that when they're doing business with us. Jensen Wood Motors, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, Montpelier, Idaho. Rafter Lazy J Fence Company started building fence in 2000. We cover the southern half of Utah, building all types of fence, agricultural, residential, and commercial. Call the Jones Boys. Feeling the worst? Snap out of it. Become a new you in no time. 
with Logomaniacs, look your best. Logomaniacs, the right look for the right price. If you're looking for live local sports, local news, weather, live classifieds, and free photo downloads, search no more. MyLocalRadio.com has what you want. Watch your teams live or browse the tens of thousands of photographs of Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho high school events from speech and drama competitions, rodeo, an array of different athletics, activities, community events, and so much more. Visit MyLocalRadio.com today and find what you're looking for. The New Horizon Crisis Center provides confidential intervention counseling, 24-hour hotline and mobile crisis team, shelter services, rape crisis intervention, and many other services. If you need help, call 1-800-343-6302. We know that when you think of Plains Tire in Evanston, you always think the tire professionals. Quality customer service. They're friendly with great prices. I really like Plains Tire in Evanston. But did you also know that the team at Plains Tire offers oil changes, windshield wiper checks, and free alignment checks? That's right, free alignment checks. We don't want you to quit thinking all those great things when you hear Plains Tire. We just want you to add to the list. Plains Tire, the tire professionals. Stop in today, 157 Bear River Drive. Back to this Utah 1A basketball presented by Ellingford Brothers in Evanston, Wyoming. For your next construction project, visit ellingfordbros.com. Rebels will have it to start the second half, leading 31 24 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. And inbound to Aaron Smith. Jordan Cook, Nick Jarman, Porter Weston, and Cameron Calder on the floor for the Rebels. Chapel, Ch- let's see, Van Orden, Taylor, Reese, and Peyton Peterson on the floor for the Badgers. Smith. Goes to Cook, right corner, the back outside to Smith, and Aaron dribbles out to reset the offense. Double screen up top. Aaron thought about a long three. Instead gives to Weston. Porter takes the three. Too strong. Garrett Chapel the rebound for the Badgers. Second board of the game, at least for Chapel. Actually, three if I update my stats. Tommy Reese, left wing, skips it across. Taylor wanted the three, but the defense was out there. Pass up top, a little bit lazy. Jordan Cook anticipates, steals it, goes to the other end, dishes to Calder at the last second. Cameron lets the defense fly by with a little ball fake and then puts it up, rattles it home off the left window. 34, 33-24 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Rich back up by nine with seven minutes left to go in the third quarter. Peyton Peterson kicks it out. Wyatt Van Orden for three. No, back of the iron. And a high rebound. Colby Taylor skies for it. Turnaround missed. Jarman with the rebel rebound. Kick it out quickly to Smith. Up ahead to Calder and Van Orden. I don't know if he deflected it, but it, it caused Calder to not be able to make the catch. Like a receiver catching a pass across the middle, linebacker's hands in the way, and Calder couldn't catch it. Down inside, Wayne kicks it down to the right corner. Taylor back across the key. Peyton Peterson takes the shot, kicks it out. Left corner three, Tommy Reese, front of the rim, and Rich caught flat-footed. Taylor knifes in there for the rebound. Down to the other end. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Tommy Reese rejected by Jarman. Nick puts a lid on that shot attempt. Wayne gets it back, though. They go inside. Jarman swats another shot, but after on the follow-through of the shot, you can hear the slap. Colby Taylor fouled and will go to the free-throw line to shoot two. Jarman, a third personal foul. He's fouled out just once this season. He's had some frustration in the first half. Again, averages 13, 14 points a game. Has not scored yet in this contest. Taylor misses the first free throw, has a second one coming. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Bear Lake Realty. Whether it's beachfront or room of the view, maybe a secluded mountain retreat, any number of timeshare options, buy now and start enjoying beautiful Bear Lake. Visit BearLakeRealty.com for the best in real estate in the Bear Lake area. 
Taylor's second free throw is good, so the Badgers climb to within eight, 33-25 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Smith left wing to Cook. Jordan dribbles around the top of the arc. Tommy Reese right with him. Pass up top, Van Orden picks it away. He loses it, but gets it back at the timeline. Dribbles up, ball poked away by Calder. Reese on the floor, diving for it. Loses control, and it's out of bounds. A lot of contact there. Calder helps, re helps Reese up off the floor. That was just a mad scramble to gain possession of the ball, and Teams exchange turnovers. Rich with 10, make it 12 turnovers in the game. Aaron and Calder walk up across the timeline. A little chit-chat going on as Aaron crosses the center line, gives to Cook on the right wing, bounce to Jarman. He'll turn to his right, try to drive. Peyton Peterson with him. Jarman pulls up on the right baseline, short corner, about five-foot jumper, hits. And Nick Jarman has his first points of the game. I failed to mention last night that Nick crossed the 1,000-point plateau last night. Here's another block from Jarman, and he comes down with it, but Van Orden knocks it away and out of bounds. Then underneath to Peyton Peterson. Back outside, Garrett Chapel for three is short. Rebound. Three players come down with it. Two Rebels sandwiching Tommy Reese. And a jump ball as a quick whistle comes. Nick Jarman... Uh, has 1,007 points in his Rebel career and crossed, again, crossed that plateau of 1,000 points last night in the loss against Paiute. I'm sure he would have uh, not, he would have chosen to not cross that plateau and win the game, then cross that plateau and lose. Garrett Chapel for three, too long, back of the iron. Aaron Smith pulls down the raw, long rebound in the corner. Rich on top by 10 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Cook inside, dishes off to Jarman, across the lane, ball poked away. He goes down, gets it back, loses it on the baseline, a battle with Peyton Peterson. And Jarman just sits there for a second. Good sportsmanship from Colby Taylor. Helps him up, swats him on the backside, and says, good try, big fella. Keep it going. Like that from Colby Taylor. He tries, uh, tries a bullet pass, and Calder deflects that one and bounces high off the wall. He'll try to he'll fake that bullet pass again and then bounce it into Van Orden. Rich pressuring with Badgers break it and now have a four on two. Kick it left corner. Peyton Peterson drives, and across the lane, a big hit. Peterson ran into Porter Weston trying to draw the charge, and this time Porter drew a charge earlier. This time he's called for the blocking foul. 4.48 left to go, third quarter. And Peyton Peterson going to the line. I, I didn't think he was shooting, but the officials obviously did, and they've got a much better angle and, and uh, grasp on it than I have. So Peterson shoots two, first one, front of the rim to the glass and drops down through. The Badgers not shooting well from the free throw line. Five of 11. That's just under 50%. Rebels in the first half, 80%. Haven't shot any free throws here in the second. Peterson trying to change things on his own. Three of four in the quarter for the Badgers from the line. And Wayne within eight, 35-27 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Cook across the timeline. Long pass for Weston. He's contested, but gets it back. Fires underneath for Smith. Right side, his shot blocked. Jarman. Rebounds, goes up for the dunk, misses, but a, sh a foul on Smith's, excuse me, on Smith's shot. We'll put Aaron at the free throw line to shoot two. Our broadcast this afternoon is also brought to you in part by Stokes Equipment in Preston, Idaho. They've got a great selection of UDOT lease returns, and these are great tractors with remaining factory warranty and deep, deep discounts. Visit Stokes Equipment in Preston, Idaho today. You can also call them at 208-852-3660. That's 208-852-3660. Smith hits the first free throw, has a second one coming, and swishes that one through as well. Aaron with six points in the game. He averages 11. Jordan Cook a steal and lays it up and in on the left side. Rebels uh, continue to press, and it's yielded a bunch of turnovers and easy points. Colby Taylor across the timeline into the lane. Nice Euro step up at the left hand, misses. Offensive rebound by Col by. Tommy Reese and Jarman loses his balance, bumps into Reese, knocks Reese to the floor, and Jarman will pick up a fourth personal foul. Nick, you can see the frustration in his body language. Just two points. He does have four blocks and four or five rebounds, but uh, just the two points and four fouls. I'll make it three fouls. I must have given him an extra at some point. A foul earlier I gave to him was called against somebody else. Down inside, Taylor back out to a free throw line jumper. Peyton Peterson misses. Jarman skies up and rips down the board. Smith looking ahead as he dribbles up the court. 
Right corner, Caldo for three, sets up and misses back of the iron, chases his own rebound, gets it, attacks the hoop up off the glass. No, Jarman tips the rebound to himself, goes back up and hits over the front of the rim and down through. And the Rebels coming alive offensively. Rich gets a takeaway, uh, take Calder to the other end, lays it up and in, 41, make it 43 to 27. Badgers want a timeout to talk about it. As Cameron Calder finishes on the right side after another takeaway, that's five turnovers in the quarter for Wayne. We'll be right back on Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. Royals Market, located in the heart of beautiful Wayne County, gateway to Capitol Reef National Park, offers fresh meat, produce, full-service deli, scratch bakery, fabric room, groceries, general merchandise, as well as hunting and fishing licenses. Come check us out. Bryce Canyon sure is amazing, but don't just stand there at the overlook. Hop on the saddle for a true Wild West experience. Ruby's Inn has the perfect horseback adventure for your family. Whether it's just an hour and a half ride to the Canyon Rim or a full day getaway to the very trails used by outlaw Butch Cassidy. We've got rides for first timers and old timers. Come visit us in the lobby to plan your adventure or call 866-782-0002. Ruby's in the wonder of the West. Local decisions, better results with State Bank of Southern Utah. Visit us online at sbsu.com or stop by any one of our local offices. Member FDIC. 3.42 left, third quarter. Badgers went on an 11-3 run to end the first half. Climbed to within seven, but the Rebels have outscored Wayne 12-3 so far here in this third. Rich defending. Colby Taylor has it. Left wing Van Orden for three. Short rebound Colby Taylor. He's been big on the glass in this game. And uh, out to the right wing, Calder bumps Tyler Chapel, And Cameron picks up the foul as Chapel was knocked to the floor. That's Cameron's first personal foul. Colby Taylor's uh, got a fifth rebound for him in the game. He averages three and a half. Taylor with it, left wing to Van Orden. Rebels coming out high in a 2-3 zone. Taylor wanted the three, instead goes inside. Payton Peterson across the lane. They go right corner. Reese across the lane, back left wing. Uh, one more pass, Payton in the lane. Kick it back outside. Van Orden for three, rimmed out. Jarman rebound tipped over to Clark. Kinnon pulls it in. Was, uh, the rebound was tipped away from Nick. He was going up with one arm to pull it down. And Wayne hustling at every moment in this game. Knocked that uh, rebound away from Nick. Aaron to the right wing. Loses his footing, but able to get a pass off to Jared Anderson. Aaron hits two and a half, almost three three-point shots per game. Has not hit one yet in this one. Jarman free throw line jumper. And that one rolls around and drops down through. Nick with six points in the quarter, 45-27. The Rebel Barrage continues. Rich has outscored Wayne 14-3 in this third quarter. In wins this season, they've outscored their opponents 18-9. Quick move from Tyler Chappell. Kenan Clark goes down, loses his footing. Chappell gives to Peterson, back to Chappell on the baseline. He's trapped down there, but kicks it back outside. Peterson for three, rims and pops out. Anderson with a Rebel rebound. And dribbles away from traffic with the left hand up the left sideline. 2.09 to go. Anderson drives, kicks it back out to Calder. Drops in Jarman, back out to Anderson in the left corner. Jared dribbles in and dishes off. Jarman off the window from the left angle, 12 feet out. Nick hits it down, has eight points in the quarter, and Rich leads by 20, 47-27 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Rocky Mountain Yeti, Chrysler Dodge, Jeep Ram in Evanston and Southwest Wyoming. Taylor, nice move, gives to Peterson, and he'll try to pass across the lane. Did Rich deflect it? No. Badgers turn it over for a sixth time in the quarter. Mike Hinkle and his Wayne Badgers, Coach Mike Hinkle, down by 20. They need to turn things around right now if they want a chance to climb back into this one. Rich has dominated the third quarter, outscoring the Badgers 16-3. Wayne with three free throws, no field goals in the third period. 140 left in the third, and Tommy Reese picks the pocket of Cason Trenary, who, who, who dives on the floor, possesses the ball, slides about 10 feet. Badgers wanted to travel, they didn't get it. Traven Peterson loses it on the ground and threw it off a rebel foot for the kick. And I'm not sure the official must have decided that, uh, that Cason did not have full possession of that ball as he slid across the floor. He and Reese got tangled up. And Wayne ends up with the basketball. 
Reese right side. Ken Clark gets in a little too close. Bumps in for the foul. Kinnon's second personal by my tally. Rebel basketball or this uh, broadcast this afternoon. Wayne and Rich is also brought to you in part by the town of Garden City, Utah, where families play. Log on to bearlake.org today to uh, find out what you want to do in beautiful Bear Lake. Bearlake.org. Anderson anticipates a pass from Traven Peterson, steals it. Jared up the right side, gives to Kaysen. He'll go inside, hangs in the air, throws it toward the middle, and it's swatted away out of bounds. Rebel basketball. Anderson will inbound. It's Anderson, Weston, Smith, Clark, and Trenary on the floor. Three seniors, two juniors. Smith, left wing, receives the inbound, takes the long three, and buries it. Aaron Smith from downtown, way beyond the arc. And Rich leads 50-27 to 27 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Inside, Tyler Chapel across the lane. They kick it back outside. Garrett Chapel for three, comes up short. Rebound out in the corner. Van Orden chases it down. Picks up the dribble, back outside to Traven Peterson. 50 seconds to go in the third. Garrett between the legs to Tyler Chapel. Dribbles left to the free throw line. Back out left wing. Van Orden looks inside, nothing there. Anderson may have gotten away with a reach as Van Orden drives and floats it up and in off the glass. Wyatt Van Orden had nine points in the first quarter. That's his first bucket here of the second, quarter, uh, second half and the first field goal of the second half for the Wayne Badgers. 50-29, to 29, Rich leading. They outscored Wayne 19-3 to three before that field goal from Van Orden. Aaron Smith dribbles right, dribbles back left, pulls up for three and swishes that one home as well. Aaron Smith with eight points in the quarter, 53-29. Reese was guarding him tight up top, and Aaron just made a little move, created space, and buried the three. Shot from the right side, Garrett Chapel draws the contact. Good move by Chapel to attack the hoop with 4.9 seconds to go, and Garrett will get himself to the free throw line for two free throws. Porter Weston picks up his third personal foul. I got Porter with two points, three rebounds in the game. Garrett Chapel at the line, shooting two. First is good, back of the iron and drops down through. Garrett's first point of the game. He's the leading scorer on this Wayne Badger team, 15 and a half points per game. And unfortunately for Wayne, which trails by 23, Garrett has been unable to connect. Missed a couple of nice open threes. And I think uh, normally he'd hit those. Chapel's second free throw, swishes through. You can see what kind of a shooter he is. He's a dead eye, sharp shooter. Aaron behind the back dribble, through traffic, gets by the D, launches a three at the buzzer, and just misses short. Off the left side, and at the end of three, it's Rich, 53, Wayne, 31 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Uh, the Badgers had climbed to within seven at the end of the half, and Rich pushes a big lead out to 22 points on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Stay tuned. Fourth quarter action coming up on Utah 1A Basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. SEC's dedicated team won't drop the ball. We're committed to providing with the fastest, most reliable network available. Call us today and get connected or visit us online at socen.com. After purchasing the Old Wayne Theater in September of 2015, we renovated and updated it into the digital age. We also added the Real Bites Cafe to the front lobby. Come on in and try our tasty food and ice cream Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Aaron Smith with eight points in the quarter. Nick Jarman with eight as well. And Rich on top by 22 as we start the fourth quarter. Welcome back to Utah 1A Basketball presented by Bear Lake Realty. Uh, visit BearLakeRealty.com. Trayvon Peterson reaches in. May have gotten away with a reach, but then he is whistled for a, a bump, a push. As Kenny Clark dribbled out on the left high post, Trayvon Peterson picks up his... First foul, Wayne Badger's second team foul. Rich with 16 fouls in this second half. Rebels upset by Paiute last night. Paiute taking on Valley. Aaron Smith gives supporter Weston. High post turnaround jumper. A bit too long. Anderson pulls down the Rebel rebound. He tries to go back up. Ball stripped away, but he gets it back to Case and Trenary out on the right wing. Trenary, Smith, top of the key, long three. Yes, Aaron Smith has found his stroke. It was missing last night. 
from downtown Aaron Smith. That was uh, from about the NBA range, left wing, uh, down in the corner, Peyton Peterson, 56-31, Rich up by 25. High post to Peterson, Traven, bounce a nice backdoor pass, great cut from Colby Taylor, and Peterson finds him for the finish. That's a great play. Good look. Not better than good. That was a great look from Traven Peterson. 56-33, Rebels with just under seven minutes to go with the lead on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Jared Anderson out on the right wing. Looking, goes up top. Aaron Smith, another three-point shot attempt. This one rims out. He was fading away a bit and just missed long. Peyton Peterson with the rebound for Wayne. Pushes up the right wing. Garrett Chapel between the legs. Goes left, goes right. Trayvon Peterson underneath to a cutting. Colby Taylor, he's fouled. Gets the shot off but can't get it to go. Again, Colby Taylor cutting down to the basket. Gets himself an opportunity to put points on the board. Rich outscored Wayne 22-7 in that third quarter, including a 19-3 run. It was 31-24, and Rich pushed that lead out to 50-27. That's been the biggest difference in this ballgame. Colby Taylor at the free throw line hits and has eight points in the game to go along with one, two, three, four, five, maybe six rebounds. That's unofficial. Colby has a second free throw coming. Aaron Smith checks out. Jarman, or no, he's still on the fort as Weston checked out, and Taylor hits both free throws, 56-35. Paiute leads Valley, 31-25 with a minute 50 left in the third quarter in the championship bracket quarterfinals. Jarman takes the shot to the hoop, misses, but is fouled, and Nick goes to the line to shoot two. Nick, a 70% 70 70 free throw shooter this season. Rich on top, 56-35. Foul charge to Baden Peterson, his second personal. Jarman's first swishes through. Nick has nine points in the game. Rebels with a handful of All-State academic team members out there. Jarman hits the second free throw as well. As I try to find my All-State academic list, it's 58 35 Rebels on top. Hot pass from Chapel to Peterson through his hand and out of bounds. And that All-State boys basketball team, All-State academic team. Kenan Clark, Nick Jarman, Aaron Smith, and Porter Weston. Rebels go down inside. Jarman, the chance at the dunk, but just lays it in. Rebels beat the pressure. And Jarman has 12 points in the game, 60 to 35. All of those points here in the fourth or in the second half. Rich on top by 25. Skip across the top, Van Orden dribbles to his right, picks up the dribble, pivots around, looking, looking, Anderson steals it, then throws it off of Reese, but Reese with great hands maintains possession. It came off his legs, and he just pulled it in. Chapel, Taylor at the top of the key, Rebels in a 2-3 zone. Taylor drives to, splits the defense, gets the ball back after it was poked away. Chapel right side, drives, dishes off, Taylor right corner to Van Orden. Three-point shot is short, and Trenary tips the rebound over to Kenan Clark. Rebels pushing up ahead. Jarman on the left side goes up with the right hand and hits. Rich running the court. And Rich leads 62-35 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Chapel down to the right corner. Sets a screen, but Taylor bounces right back to Chapel. Then to a cutting for Peyton Peterson. He tries to shoot. Jarman swats it. Rebels push the other way. Clark, strong move to the hoop. He's fouled by Van Orden. Gets a wild shot off, and uh, I believe we'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Our broadcast today is brought to you in part by the Evanston Travel and Tourism Board. Be wowed by Celtic superstars in Evanston, Wyoming during the World Class Celtic Festival, March 23rd and 24th. Visit EvanstonCelticFestival.com for all the info. That's EvanstonCelticFestival.com. That round of applause and a standing ovation from many of the Rebel fans as the starters leave the floor, 5-11 left to go, and Jared Anderson will inbound. That was not on the shot, that last uh, shot attempt, or that last foul. Inbound to Cason Trenary. Rich with the basketball. Anderson underneath. Jordan Stacy knocked to the two, or loses his balance, goes to the floor, able to get the pass back outside. Rich works it inside, and Reagan Huffner finishes on the right side. This is uh, pretty much the Rebel team for next year. 64-35, Rich on top by 29. Tommy Reese, left wing, goes down in the corner to Tyler Chapel. 
Garrett Chapel thought about the three, stepped up into it, hesitates, then drives, floats it up, can't get it to go. Anderson, the Rebel rebound. He'll spin around away from traffic. Push up the left side, kick it across right wing. Case and Trenary for three short, follows his own shot, gets the rebound, back outside. Huffner will shoot the three and misses short, but he traveled first. Trenary with three rebounds and a basket in this game. 64-35 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Rebels on top big with just over four minutes to go. Rich built that big lead in the third quarter. They outscored Wayne 22-7. Taylor on the left wing. Looks left corner. Reese into the middle. Traven Peterson back outside. Taylor dribbles right. Right corner and Landon, or no, Reagan Huffner deflects that one away and out of bounds. Wayne Badger basketball. Jaden Nelson and Colton Neek check into the game. Anderson and Trenary check out. Badgers inbound, they go inside, kick it back out, work it around, Chapel on the right wing, hesitates, looking right, goes left, kicks it back out to Tyler Chapel. he'll take the long three and just miss, but a follow by Traven Peterson, puts it right back in, Peterson with the rebound and the finish. 64-37, Reagan Huffner dribbles down to the baseline, goes back up top, Jordan Stacy, the long two from 18 feet, misses, or uh, Jaden Nelson with the rebound, his putback is short, and Wayne pulls down the next rebound. Traven across the side, left wing three. Garrett Chapel short. Rebound, Reagan Huffner of the Rebels. Huffner goes up. Colton Meek saves it just barely, but to Garrett Chapel. Double second turnover of this fourth quarter. Chapel goes coast to coast, lays it up and in. Nice move by Garrett Chapel. Four points in the game. 64 39. Rebel lead down to 25. Rich goes up ahead. Jaden Nelson dishes off to Reagan Huffner in the lane. Ten-foot jumper, good. Reagan Huffner, four points in the game. Assist to Jaden Nelson, junior big man, six foot for the Rebels. Reagan Huffner, also a junior. 2.42 left to go on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. And Rich on top. 66-39. Shot goes up from Wayne. Miss, but Tyler Chapel chases down the rebound in the corner. And Chapel with three or four rebounds. Coach Mike Hinkle takes a timeout just before Garrett Chapel hits a three. And we'll take a timeout as well. 2.30 left to go in this one. Rich on top. Big 66-39 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. On Utah 1A Basketball on KSL at MyLocalRadio.com. I get to compete as a collegiate athlete on the gymnastics team. This has allowed me to make connections with people inside the gym and outside of the gym while traveling around the entire country and competing on a Division I level. Being on the gymnastics team has really taught me discipline and hard work, and this is going to apply to every aspect of my life. My name is Natalie Trejo. I'm a sophomore chemistry major, and this is how I experience more. Welcome back to Utah 1A Basketball, presented by Bear Lake Realty. If you're looking for a Bear Lake, uh, for realty in the Bear Lake area, visit bearlakerealty.com and work with the best. That's bearlakerealty.com. No portion of this webcast in its entirety may be used or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Deseret Digital Media. Peyton Peterson on the right wing, up top to Garrett Chapel. Reagan Huffner pokes the ball out, but uh, Tyler Chapel there to chase it down. Peyton Peterson, right wing in the corner. Colby Taylor fakes the shot and then dribbles out back toward the top of the arc. 2-3 Rebel zone defense. Just about yields the turnover, but Peyton Peterson, strong hands, pulls it back in. Colby Taylor open for a moment, but didn't take the three, hesitated, and then the time was up. And said he drives and finishes with the floater. Colby Taylor, six points in the quarter, 11 in the game. 66-41 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Rebels on top by 25 with under two to go. Reagan Hoffner. Follows the screen by Colton Meek, and Meek must have pushed that hip out there. He's called for the illegal screen. Meek picks up his first personal. Rebels give it away. For, Rebels had 10 turnovers in the first half, just four here in the second. Badgers, eight turnovers at the half, but had seven turnovers in the third quarter alone. That was a big part of the Rebels outscoring Wayne 22-7 to in that third period. 145 left to go. Tyler Chapel, left wing to Peyton Peterson. Skips it across. Garrett Chapel inside. Traven back outside. Garrett for three. Top of the key. Got it. Swishes home. Garrett Chapel with five points in the quarter. Seven in the game. 
66-43, and I, or 66-44. I think that's the type of shooting we expected all day from Garrett Chapel. This is smooth, good shooter. Left wing, Stetson Huffaker of the Rebels. Dribbles around the top of the arc, behind the back. Hounded by Tyler Chapel. Gives left side. Hunting, push in the back. He deflects it back court, and a late whistle, but it certainly was that call. Some Rebel fans wanted a push on Peyton Peterson. It looked like he may have given Hunting a little bit of a push, but no whistle, and... No harm, really. It's, uh, Rebels on top big by 22. Badgers will take some extra time, especially for their seniors. Colby Taylor, Peyton Peterson, Tyler Chapel. This is their final game. This loss eliminates them from the state championship tournament. With a minute and 10 seconds to go, those guys sub off the floor. Younger guys in there. Wyatt Van Orden, the long three. Misses short. Rebound tipped around. And Traven Peterson hustling through the last few seconds. Tips it out to Garrett Chapel, And he is fouled by a couple of Rebels. Let's see who they call it on as two Rebels were there contesting. And it looks like they'll give it to Kyler Wilson, who just checked into the game. Garrett Chapel at the line. Has five points in the quarter. Seven in the game. He didn't score a field goal until the fourth quarter. And he hits his first free throw on the one and one. Earns a second. It was a tight first half. The Rebels led by 15. Wayne battled back, and it was a seven point game at the half. Missed free throw short. Jordan Stacy with the Rebel rebound. He averages about 15, maybe 13 rebounds a game in JV action. Rich up by 21, and a reach in Wyatt Van Orden. It was a 16 foul against the Badgers with 50.4 seconds to go. And again, if you're just tuning in, just joining us, Rich uh, went on a 19-3 run in the third quarter and outscored Wayne 22-7 to push out uh, into a big lead of 23 points. It was the biggest the Rebels led by in that third quarter. Stacy tries to go inside. It's taken away, but... Kyler Wilson chases down Wayne and gets it right back. Landon Hunting on the left wing gives to Wilson. 30 seconds to go in this ball game, and the Rebels will win. Score 66-45. We may have another bucket before the end. Reese with a steal for Wayne. He'll give to Chapel, pushing across the timeline with 20 seconds to go. Garrett starts left, goes right into the lane, kicks it out left corner three. Wyatt Van Orden swishes. Wyatt Van Orden with 14 points in the game. 66-48. Wayne climbing back but they're going to run out of time with five four three the rebels will win this one 66 48 on the rocky mountain yeti scoreboard the rebels keep themselves alive in consolation play the badgers finish the tournament and head home and uh, wish the badgers the best in the future rebels will play again tomorrow and let me check that real quick uh, just when they'll play That'll be at 2.30 p.m., and they'll play the winner between Water Canyon and Pinnacle, the next game on tap here at Richfield High School. Stay tuned. We've got your Rubies in postgame show coming up. Again, Rich wins 66-48 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. We'll be back right after this with more Utah 1A basketball on KSL and MyLocalRadio.com. Wayne County is located in the heart of Capital Reef Country, your outdoor recreation paradise. Invite you to come and take the road less traveled. Wishing all teams success in the postseason tournaments. No matter what you need to have printed, Westar Printing is the place you want to have it done. Calendars, letterhead, envelopes, brochures, books, posters, vinyl banners, business forms, announcements, wedding invitations, and business cards are just a few examples. You can also have your favorite family photos printed on canvas or placed into a personalized family photo calendar. You will want to do business with Westar Printing. Stop in today. West Star Printing, 243 7th Street in Evanston.
welcome back to this presentation of Utah 1A Basketball brought to you by Ellingford Brothers in Emerson. For your next construction project, visit Ellingford Brothers. Uh, that's ellingfordbros.net in Emerson, Wyoming. Today's game was brought to you in part by the Cache Valley Visitors Bureau for Outdoor Adventure, a foodie track, amazing music and theater, and Utah State Athletics. Go Aggies! Your fun in Logan by visiting explorelogan.com. The Rebels started out pretty well. They jumped out to an 8-0 lead. Wayne battled back to within five of a 6-0 run in the first to close out that first period, but then Rich opened the second on an 8-0 run, pushed the lead out to 15 before Wayne again battled back. They scored 11 of the final 14 points in the second quarter and trailed by just seven at the half. And then third quarter, it was all Rebels. Rich went on a 19-3 run to start the third and outscored Wayne 22-7 in that uh, period just after halftime. They will push a lead out to 22 points, 53-31 at the end of three, and then uh, Rich Ended up winning 66-48. The Rebels were led by Nick Jarman's 14 points. Um, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven rebounds in the game, five blocks. Aaron Smith had 15 points, including one, two, three triples. Kevin Calder, 13 points as well. Garrett Chapel, leading scorer for Wayne, was held to eight. The Badgers were led by Wyatt Van Orden's 14 points. And... Let's see, Colby Taylor had 11 as well. Rich shot 54% from inside the arc, 86% from the free throw line, 12 of 14 from the charity stripe. Wayne, 42% from inside the arc, just 3 of 22 from outside. That's 14%. Rebels with 11 offensive rebounds. Badgers out, uh, out did the Rebels on offensive rebounds with 15 boards, but uh, Rich earns the victory. Again, a final score of 66 to 48 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. Our next game coming up, Al Cook will be on the mic. It'll be uh, Pinnacle versus Water Canyon. The winner will take on Rich. The loser will head home. And that's going to do it for me. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back over and covering some championship bracket games uh, over in the Severe Valley Center. Tinnock and Penguich coming up. Uh, Valley and Paiute are tied with two minutes, ten seconds to go in the fourth quarter. And if you're not watching that on mylocalradio.com or ksl.com, make sure to jump in and then watch the rest of that one. It's a tight game and a hotly contested battle between Valley and Paiute. Rich wins 66 to 48 on the Rocky Mountain Yeti scoreboard. I'm Ryan Sonnekert, and uh, we'll be back with more basketball coming up from this tournament, the Utah 1A basketball on KSL and mylocalradio.com. Hi there, Craig Dearden with Castle Rock Chevrolet right here in Evanston. Of course, it's about finding you that perfect vehicle, but at Castle Rock, it's about a lot more. It's using our experience to get you the best rate. We will get you the vehicle that you've always wanted. It's about knowing your vehicle is in the right hands. Throughout the buying experience here at Castle Rock Chevrolet, we're here for you. If you're ready to buy a new truck, come to Castle Rock. Auto Farm Castle Rock Chevrolet. We're a different kind of dealer. Ruby's Inn General Store has the area's widest selection of Indian arts and crafts, curios and groceries. Located one mile from the entrance to Bryce Canyon National Park, Ruby's General Store has what you need. I didn't think it was possible to add one more thing to my already busy schedule. Then I realized that earning my degree will not only help me, but my family too. If you or your friends are looking for a home or vacation home at beautiful Bear Lake, you don't have to wait any longer to live your dream. Bear Lake Realty has properties in every price range. Relax. Create memories for generations to come in your home or vacation home at one of the most beautiful lakes on earth. It all starts with a phone call. We will help you find the perfect home for you and your family. Call today. Gary McKee at Bear Lake Realty. 435 946 8888 or go to bearlakerealty.com. Bryce Canyon Half Marathon, 13.1 miles of fast and unforgettable running on scenic Byway 12. From Bryce Canyon City descending to Cannonville through the majestic Bryce Canyon National Park. Race runs on the second Saturday in July. Start training today. They really appreciate every customer at Cash Honda Yamaha in Cash Valley. They understand that you have lots of options when it comes to purchasing outdoor recreation vehicles. That's why they work hard to earn your business by making sure they understand exactly what you want. They're friends with their customers.
When you're happy, they're happy. If you haven't been to their store, they invite you to come visit. And if you've already one of their friends, stop in again soon and check out all of this season's gear. Cash Honda Yamaha, in between Logan and Smithfield on US 91. Comfort Inn in Richfield offers guests cozy accommodations and friendly service. Amenities include free Wi-Fi, free hot breakfast, indoor pool and hot tub. If you're looking for a getaway, or if you're here at the Comfort Inn for work, we've got you covered. Your truck works hard for you. Give it all the accessories it needs. Ellingford Brothers has the best accessories around. See them today for a wide variety of hitches, grill guards, and more for your truck. Ask them about a Linex spray-on bed liner. It's specially formulated and very durable. Ellingford Brothers has quality products and affordable prices. Stop by their office today at 221 County Road. Ellingford Brothers, for your next construction project, count on the best. Ellingford Brothers in Emerson. 